Yes, hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hello. Hello everyone. Hi, hi Aziza. Yes, hello. Hi Shweta. Thank you, thank you Shweta. Hi Manali, hi Renberry. Hi Deepika. Yes, Ravya. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I will address your questions at the end of the session. Hi, Devika. Hi, Neelam. Hello, Sakshi. Hi, Trilokya. Hi, Vanshu. Yes, we will wait for some another one or two minutes. Hi Sanvi. Hi Mugdha. Hello Nikita. Hi everyone. Hi Yasmin. Hi everyone, we will make one another minute and then I'll start the session. Hi Megha. Yes, I'm starting. Okay, so friends, hi everyone. I am Dr. Bharati Karwa and I am a lead gynecologist at Vira Health. To give you a little background about myself, I am consultant gynecologist and obstetrician. I have practiced gynecology and obstetrics in private setup as well as government setups for more than two decades. At present, I am more focused on PCOS related issues. At Vira Health, I am helping the patients to control the symptoms of PCOS and with the scientific and research-based research approach. I am really glad to share with you all that we do get very satisfactory results and overall improvement in the patient's health. So, today we will talk about one of the most common hormonal disorder in women which is PCOS. PCOS or polycystic ovary syndrome affects nearly 100 million women in India alone but the sad part is that around 70% of women go undiagnosed with PCOS and this is mainly because of lack of awareness or understanding of what PCOS is. So friends, what are the common symptoms of PCOS? As you all are aware that there are irregular periods, excessive hair growth, uh, especially it is male pattern distribution over the face, body, stomach. Yes, there is hair loss history of acne, mental health is also affected in the form of irritability, lot of mood changes, mood swings, there is lethargy and tiredness and weight gain. Although all the patients don't have all the symptoms, either one, two, three 
uh, the main which symptoms I mentioned amongst these are present in the patients. So they complain about it. Complain about it. Although the exact cause is unknown, hormonal imbalance, genetic pre or genetics, family history, and of course lifestyle factors can all contribute to PCOS. There is imbalance of two hormones, which is insulin and androgen, and they are mainly responsible for the signs and symptoms of PCOS. So, uh, how to diagnose the patient of PCOS? See, there are three criteria, out of which two criteria, if they are present, then we call or we label a patient as PCOS. First, you have irregular periods. Second, your blood test show elevated level of androgen or you have clinical symptoms. And third is ultrasound scan shows polycystic ovaries. So out of these three criteria, if two are present, then we label the patient as PCOS. So what is the treatment option for PCOS? See, there are uh, mainly we concentrate on two things. One is lifestyle modification and another is medication. So lifestyle modification and medication, if together we, uh, we take an approach with these two factors, then there are very high chances of getting the success in PCOS reversal. Might it well that PCOS reversal is... So what are the treatment option lifestyle modification? Lifestyle modification is the diet, another is exercise, third is stress management and fourth is sleep. So what is special about diet? See, there is, as already I told, there is an insulin resistance, so there is a glucose metabolism is affected. And there should not be a fluctua fluctuation of the blood glucose also. So rather than simple carbohydrates, we have to go to the complex carbohydrates. We should have the high protein diet, high fiber diet. Even a nutritionist, nutritionist is a better person to customize your diet according to your body needs. So how much to eat, what to eat, what not to eat, everything is decided or customized by nutritionist. And if you follow diet consistently, consistently along with exercise, exercise is also very important from the point of PCOS because with exercise you are able to manage the weight with diet and exercise as well as with exercise endorphins are released which are the good hormones and with exercise and diet you are able to control the symptoms of PCOS and you can maintain it for lifelong as it is a lifestyle disorder it is going to be a lifelong so you have to maintain the healthy balanced diet and good a good exercise See, and you can do these exercise and diet, which is possible for you. It's not out of the context or something which is not possible for you. We advise your diet as per your availability, as per your needs. So try to be consistent in diet and exercise. Third is sleep. Sleep is also very important because sleep disturbances also cause bad hormones. So sound sleep of six to at least seven to eight hours is very much important. And last but not least is stress management. As there is, if there is a stress, naturally it is going to worsen the PCOS symptoms because stress causes a release of the cortisol in turn, which is going to increase the male sex hormones, which is already a culprit in the PCOS case. So all these, whenever you try to modify the lifestyle, considering all these four things that is diet, exercise, sleep and stress, definitely you will be able or you will be successful in PCOS reversal. Now another co component is medication. Yes, medication is required. But what we try is that by research or by studies, it is shown that like with lifestyle uh, modification, if you are able to achieve and if at all medication is not necessary, then I don't prefer uh, medication unless otherwise it is needed. So how we decided that is with the help of your blood investigations. If there is very high levels of male hormones that is androgens, then in that case definitely uh, we do prescribe the anti-androgenic pills. Or suppose there is a more insulin resistance, in that case only lifestyle modification will take a long time. In that case supplementary medicine is prescribed but that is for short duration. So medication is whenever necessary only that time we prescribe the medication and it is a, in a supplementary role. And mind it well that not all, not all women need medications. 
ऑल्दो बीन डायग्नोज विथ पी सी ओ एस कैन फिर या ओवरवेलमिंग बट यू कैन मैनेज ऑल द सिम्टम्स ऑफ पी सी ओ एस विथ पर्सनलाइज और यू कैन से कस्टमाइज ट्रीटमेंट प्लान ऑन गोइंग मेडिकल सपोर्ट एंड राइट गाइडेंस एंड सो फ्रेंड्स एट वीरा हेल्थ दैट इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट वी डू वी आर द वर्ल्ड्स लार्जेस्ट पी सी ओ एस ट्रीटमेंट क्लिनिक वी हेल्प यू डेवलप सस्टेनेबल हेल्दी हैबिट्स and that is across major pcos figures and gives you the best in class support and care so many women in our program achieve great results yes i would like to give you the examples that whenever we see the patient and we uh, they take the treatment from uh, medication and lifestyle modification point of view and when there is a review meeting after two or three months and really patient are so happy yes ma'am i started regular periods and i'm very happy without medicines i got the periods we also feel happy that patient and see 100% contribution is from the patients itself they follow the diet they follow the exercise they follow the medication and that's why they are getting the results so uh i always i say to the patient that three things you should keep in mind that is consistency sustainability and of course patience at least minimum 6 to 12 months are required for the pcos reversal so be patient and do best from your side and definitely you will get the results so i think this is the basic uh, uh, things about pcos i tried to explain you all now we will come to the question and answer session so i'll take some questions yes see uh, someone asked me is it necessary to take diet supplements that we have in the market like gynoveda see these supplements they are not going to cure your pcos basic pathology already i explained that there is insulin resistance and there is a high levels of male hormones and with studies we have seen that with lifestyle modification and some am- some amount of indicated medic- medications if taken then definitely you will be help it will be helpful for you to achieve the uh, uh, control over the pcos symptoms yes manpreet is asking is what is the solution for hair loss see the because of increased testosterone levels these symptoms you are going to face that is acne hair loss because see may testosterone is a male hormone and it is going to show the effects type of like a male hormone so typical baldness see male and female hair distribution is different and that hair loss frontal hair loss and all those things are related to testosterone so whenever you try to uh, uh, reduce the levels of testosterone with lifestyle modification and medication you will be able to face the issue of hair loss and these symptom you can reverse another question uh, this diet rather than dietary supplements i would like to advise you should go for vitamin d3 and b12 because what we saw day to day daily basis that uh, many a patients have levels of vitamin b12 and d3 are very less that is vitamin d are very less so get it done and uh, if these are below the normal levels then these supplements are necessary is mipret tab- ayush is asking me is mipret tablet is fine when three periods stop See, mipret is uh, just it's a progesterone tablet, and it is for the withdrawal bleeding. It is not going to cure your uh, testosterone levels or your insulin resistance. That is for the withdrawal bleeding. That is, it mimics the menstruation. With these uh, tablets, you are getting menstruation. That is the role of mipret tablet. Diet me, tell me, ma'am, what to eat. Faraz, see. Uh, already i told you that high protein diet uh, complex carbohydrates even uh, you can have a high fiber diet and uh, i think nutritionist is the better person rather than me to control, uh, suggest your diet so we have a lot of uh, experienced nutritionist on our panel and they will definitely help you in the diet customizing your diet yes yeah 
कैन यू एक्सप्लेन इंश्योरेंस देवी का या कैन यू एक्सप्लेन इंश्योरेंस रजिस्टेंस इन पी सी एस येस डेफिनेटली सी वॉट हैपन्स स्टिल दीज स्टडीज आर गोइंग ऑन कि वाई देर इज इंश्योरेंस रजिस्टेंस बट इट इज फाउंड दैट इट हैज अ जेनेटिक रोल इन इंश्योरेंस रजिस्टेंस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ इंश्योरेंस रजिस्टेंस वॉट हैपन्स देर इज अ as insulin resistance is raised uh, uh, resistance is increased at tissue level that is it is not responding to insulin at the cellular level pancreas think that insulin is not sufficient in an amount so it goes on secreting more insulin and what happens because of insulin more insulin secretion glucose metabolism is again affected no breakdown of the glucose molecules doesn't occur properly it is converted into fat and there is a weight gain another thing is that because of increased insulin the usually male sex hormones that is testosterone is bound to the some globulin and because of increased insulin that globulin number is reduced and so free testosterone is increased and it is circulating in the body so naturally it is going to show the results of male hormones Yes. Yes. Please send your questions if you want to ask any quick. Please. Hair loss is the major problem. Yes, already I have explained. Solution for hair loss. Solution for unwanted hair growth. The same thing. Testosterone levels are increased. In that case, if hair growth is uh, really uh, 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 more excessive, and if testosterone levels are also high we try with anti androgenic pills anti androgenic pills are given by two ways that is with anti androgenic play pills or with the oral contraceptive pills which contain the anti androgenic components and if it is it doesn't solve that problem then dermatologist opinion is required weight gain and facial hair already i have explained even it is said that if you lose the 10 5 to 10% of your weight you will be able to achieve the uh, improvement in your symptoms what is the assurance you give to get periods naturally and conceive naturally madam see there is no uh, even a patient don't have a pcos then also one cannot give you assurance for conceiving immediately or naturally see there are other factors also so we have to rule out everything but not assurance but what we have studied or what we have came across the patients that we see that there is improvement and patient get period do get periods if they follow the uh, medication and lifestyle modification a gluten free and dairy free possible to subside the symptoms only gluten free and dairy free it's not possible already i told you that diet should be a balanced diet healthy and balanced diet only with gluten free and dairy free it's not you are not going to get the results for that purpose you have to take high fiber diet high protein diet some complex carbohydrates even portion of the diet interval between two meals everything counts avoid junk food and everything is it possible conceive after weight loss i have pcos yes we have seen the patients that they have conceived naturally after they lo- lose their weight by around 5 to 10% we have seen the patients because see what happens in uh, pcos there are most of the times there are unovulatory cycles so very very less chances of uh, conceiving or conception is there but once cycles become regular or those become ovulatory and once your level uh, hormonal levels come to near normal and if you start getting the ovulatory cycles then very high chances of conception can i get pregnant with pcos yes of course you can get with pcos but only thing is that if if there is a pcos and you conceive there are some complications that is antenatal that is during pregnancy some complications and complications are known to occur with pcos that is specially gestational diabetes I even just a hypertension, preeclampsia. Then there is a chances. It's not that each and every patient will get it, but high chances of this premature labor, abortion, and all. Ma'am, मुझे भी PCOD की problem है. Yes. Can you speak about taking Genet 3521 day tablet? 
it is the same tablet which i told you that it has an anti androgenic component that is uh, saprotrinoin acid acetate which takes uh, care of testosterone but you you cannot only with genet 35 don't try to um, cure the pcos because lifestyle modification is the most because once you stop the genet 35 again you are going to get the symptoms again hair loss is very common complaint facial hair growth already i told acha hindi mein bataiye is fertility affected abhi maine bataya ki jo aapke ovulation agar normal nahi hai an ovulatory cycles hai isliye fertility affect hota hai how to handle hormonal imbalance the same thing i told now i have one point increase amh one point increase rather than normal is per, it is the common observation in uh, pcos that amh levels are uh, increased and that is because of the ovarian uh, pathology or you can say ovarian changes do you prescribe the medicine this program or without medicine see as far as possible we try to avoid hormonal medicines because already many a patients had uh, are uh, giving the history that already they took this and they have a relapse and all so most of the times we try to do it with lifestyle modification and little supplementation of the vitamin d or insulin sensitizers if at all it is required testosterone levels are very high in that case only we prefer anti testogenic anti androgenic pills or ocp otherwise we as far as possible we try to uh, okay so i think uh, you can follow it for a long duration PCOS it doesn't cause ectopic is meta meta time 500 xr is okay in pcos uh, no i cannot uh, comment
if there is a might that if you have a PCOS then you cannot conceive it's not like that you can conceive with PCOS ma'am do you give internship I don't get it Ma'am, can I? Uh, what is that? Why? Okay. Ma'am, gym is best or yoga for PCS? Uh, see, gym is also best and PCO, yoga is also best. You, could, you should keep changing the exercises. Exercise is exercise. There is whichever is suitable for you and which you prefer. That is important. <clears throat> but yoga is better from the meditation point of view. That is stress management. So I think we are running close to the end of this live session now and uh, because I cannot see any different questions. I think uh, I tried my best. Should a woman not needing pregnancy should get PS? Of course, because if don't treat the PCOS at this stage or well, there are uh, complications of the PCOS at the later stage of life. That is, you are the you will be the victim of diabetes, two type of diabetes. Then another is infertility, that is fertility related. Then third is that very high chances of gestational, uh, sorry, uh, for the CV's cardiovascular diseases then again if your uterus is exposed to estrogen for long time because there is a progesterone deficiency in the PCOS then chances of cancer and all are there so better it is after all a metabolic syndrome so better try to control it at early stage even though you don't want to conceive you have to take the uh, care and for the, to prevent the, these diseases in latter stage of life So I think uh, we, are, we are running close to end of this live and thank you for all, all your questions and for being a great audience. If you have more questions or are looking to manage your PCOS, uh, of course book an appointment with Vira Health to get started and we will be able to help you better and address your specific questions here. So I think everyone... Uh, I tried my best to explain about PCOS at least basic things and if you want to know more, yes I am there as a consultant at Vera Health. See you and thank you very much.